Hey everyone, Rip Brown here. I wasn't going to make a video, but I figured I might as well do a quick update on the ST16 teardown process. It's going a bit slow. The engine was a little bit difficult to get out. I'm also taking my time on this. Uh, I got no rush to do it. I'll have it done by tomorrow. Um, hopefully the new, the new tractor is coming Monday. So that means I have two in the trailer, basically ready to go. And uh, this one here will be stripped for parts as long as it does show up. So, I almost had the Scott sold today. Uh, a guy was humming and hawing about it for about a month, or about two weeks to a month. And uh, he was going to come over today, but then his son ended up giving him a brand new tractor. So, uh, unfortunately, it's no longer. It's still here. But um, if I do end up holding on to it till next year, I'm going to be uh, taking that engine out and uh, most likely sticking a V-twin in there. Like I was saying before, with a 40-inch deck and a 6-speed, you really need something over 12 horse. Uh, really, that was underpowered right from the factory, in my opinion. So, it will most likely be upgraded if it doesn't sell. But the top priority is try and get it sold. But if it doesn't, it's going to be upgraded. So, back to the old ST16. Got the engine turned sideways. Everything's all out. Uh, it's all disconnected. Gas tank. There was a huge, um, either bird's... Uh, bird nest or mouse nest underneath the gas tank um, this thing you got to remember it's it sat out for six seven years no cover uh, when I got it it hadn't ran in over three years so it really was not taken care of that uh, pulley is seized on there unfortunately I was hoping to reuse that pulley on my uh, diesel but um, I'm probably gonna have to try some PB blaster but what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pull the flywheel cover off and the flywheel out. I got a uh, ring to flywheel, one of two. I have one, it was here. Right here, this came off the Scott's original engine. It was recently on that uh, 17 horse. I also have this one here that's on an 11 horse. The engine's pretty much junk, but the flywheel is still good. Depends on which one. Ooh, a drill bit. Depends on which one that needs. It'll be one of these two. This one here has the cooling thins, so most likely it's going to need this one here. If it doesn't, I don't know if I'll have room in there to stick this fan shroud in. So, anyways, that's what I'm doing right now. I did try and use the uh, puller to try and get that pulley off of there. It just wouldn't move. So, with the um, upgrade with the flywheel. I'm going to be gaining a stator and potentially a starter. I may or may not have a starter for this. I don't even know if this conversion is going to work. So I just want to see if it will because it's going to bring this engine up to the next level. Kind of like what I did with that um, 11 horse Tecumseh I had. I had another Tecumseh with the electric start and the stator on it. And I upgraded that engine and I was actually able to get more money for that engine when I sold it without and then I would have without the, those uh, two parts. People want the electric start and people want the stator. Even if I can get the stator in here and still have the pull start, that's even a that's even a big improvement on this engine too. I have one of two stators. I have a 10 amp and a 8 or 5 amp. I'm not sure what it is. It's just a half a stator. So I'm pretty sure it could even be a 5 amp. I'm not sure. But it'll be enough to run lights and charge a battery. So that's where I'm at on this right now. It has a bolt right here for the starter. Or it could have the, the uh, weird big starter where it attaches like a Tecumseh. I'm not sure though. I'm pretty sure it's uh, these two right here. This is a low oil shut off. So it's, this is already is a fairly well equipped engine with the low oil shut off. But um, I wish the guy would have took better care of it really. Um, being left out, this is basically the way it was sitting. Obviously the engine was mounted and had the deck. But it had no cover, nothing. And it sat like that for at least eight years. He said he used it periodically until the uh, mandrel in the center the deck seized up, and then he just stopped using it, and it sat. So that's if I get a chance, I might show actually where it where it used to sit, um, and you guys will see where it used to sit. So I don't have to go right to the guy's property. It's actually it's a public uh, public walkway behind this place. Basically, this is just off of where this was sitting. This was sitting in the bushes behind his house. So, I guess that's uh, pretty much it for this. If I make any progress, I'll just make another video. So, I'll talk to him later. Please keep it red neck like always. And, uh, 
please subscribe and comment. Please subscribe and comment. And a quick shout out to Emily Loves Her Dogs in Emily Hill's world. Bye for now.